bestseller list, it launches five new Applied Scholastics Learning Centers in four weeks flat. While to provide the rest of the world with an inkling of what LRH technology holds, he presented the three barriers to study in the highest circulation glossy on earth. And what with spin-offs in TV, print, and radio, the tally of those he reached with Study Tech soon topped 250 million. your trust. Thank you for your confidence in me. And I've personally, uh, personally been very privileged to see what you do to help, to protect, to serve all of us. tell you something, that I, I have never met a more competent, a more intelligent, a more tolerant, a more compassionate being outside of what I've experienced uh, from LRH. And I've met the leaders of leaders. Okay? I've met them all. So I say to you, sir, COB, we are lucky to have you and thank you very much. To you, Mr. L. Ron Hubbard, sir, I take this as a half act. <laughs> and I will, I will continue on my way, okay? These are the times now, people, okay? These are the times we will all remember. Were you there? What did you do? I think you know that I am there for you, and I do care so very, very, very much. So what do you say, we need to clean this place up? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Because we're counting on you. Okay. All right? To LRH.
Well, that definitely brings us to both the close of tonight's event <laughs> and the start of a whole new era. Yet before we part, I want you to remember the two operative words with which we open this evening, necessity level. After all, it's what lies behind our new orgs in Madrid, New York, and soon London, and many more on the horizon. It's also what drives our crusades to eradicate psychiatry, bring LRH solutions to governments, and armies of volunteer ministers to every land. And even more than that, it also brings us to this. The moment you realize the scope of Scientology, the very instant you accepted its power, in one way or another, you were committed by necessity to help in every way you can. There is great need out there, and you truly do possess the technology to change it. But where someone fails to use that technology or insist on its standard use, well, in that case, they make it tougher on everyone else who is. So let's reevaluate everything right here and now. If you're a Scientologist, then you too are playing in that global arena, playing for keeps, playing for the fate of entire populations. And while we shall never forget, we are the IAS, and we've only just begun, let's ensure it's a new beginning for every being of Earth, because shoulder to shoulder, we can honestly and factually make it happen. And in the end, that's what it means to call ourselves members of the International Association of Scientologists, and all as spelled out with these words from LRH. A handful of us are working our guts out to beat deadline Earth. A handful of us aren't nattering or dramatizing or whining or waiting. A few of us see the world has got a chance if we don't dawdle along the way. We may or may not be super beings yet, but we are very earnest people. We would be longer on patience if we weren't so short on time. Our program is simple. We are working as hard as we can in Scientology. We are doing the best job we can at our job. We are shooting people up in case level. We are training up the best auditors we can train, as fast as we can train them. We are keeping the lines going and the place together. We are releasing people wholesale. We are making clears or OTs. We intend fully to make the grade. We know every minute counts. And we intend to take out of the road anything we have to take out of the road, no matter how big, to make a civilization that can survive. We mean it, and the only slim chance this planet has rests on a few slim shoulders, overworked, underpaid, and fought. The Scientologist. Later on, if we make it, what will be your answer to this question? Did you help? And I say, Let's all make it happen. Thank you very much to LRH. Thank you very much. See you next year. Good night. <laughs>